Good morning, gentlemen. It is time for Word on the Street. We love a good rumor on a Monday. We're going to give them a little <laughs> merit. And just, guys, you like that Sesame Street reference? J.P. Rossi tweeted out, uh, after the new year, the Dodgers have <coughs> continued to show interest in DJ LeMahieu. Okay, sorry. Okay, we were right. Matt. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I don't Hello, know how Matt. you sneeze when we're doing the show. When you do the show from home and we have a little bit of a delay and I can't, like, kill my mic, I just got to let it eat. Sorry about that, Lauren. Anyway. Let's see LeMahieu, Muncie, Bellinger. Sounds pretty good to me. Top of my head, I think Justin Turner fills the need and is a bit cheaper. Matt, am I off on that? No, I'm with you on that. I mean... DJ LeMahieu would fit in great anywhere, even with the uh, defending World Series champs, of course. Like, he would polish up any lineup and any team. But uh, you talk about an embarrassment of riches, and there might be a place to spend that money somewhere else. Uh, you know, you're not talking about a guy who's at the beginning of his major league career either. I, I get the interest. I get the fit. I just don't think it's realistic when uh, what you said is accurate, Lauren. The incumbent, bring back Turner. Harold, do you agree? I just, I, I don't understand why you change anything in L.A. Kiki Hernandez is one of the greatest utility men in baseball, and he can do everything they ask him to do. It's not easy to say, all right, you're playing today, you're off tomorrow, and then you bring Turner back. You just keep the thing flowing. That's a pretty good club as it is. And the intangibles yeah. with Kiki are the thing, which leads me to this. Red Sox beat writer Chris Catella reporting that the Red Sox have strong interest in Kike. Utility man, six years with LA. And when you go online, it's such a mixed response because they say, of course, any team would love Kike, but we just had Brock Holt. Harold, what's your response to that? Uh, Kike is way above Brock Holt, particularly at this time in Brock's career. Kiki Hernandez, like I just said, is, is top-notch utility. And no matter where you put him, the difference with Kike and any other guy out there, the difference is this right here at shortstop. There's not a lot of utility guys that can play short and you don't fall off. That's the, the equalizer, playing shortstop. A lot of guys can play second, you can throw him in the outfield, but he can play all the positions, but the shortstop is the key. If you want to give your shortstop a day off and not lose a step, that's the difference. Kiki gives, gives that to you. Yeah, you know what, Lauren, I like what you said about that from Red Sox fans who are who are like kind of shrugging at why did we let Brock Holt go and now we're going to sign Kike Hernandez who will be more expensive with his resume and his ring than keeping Brock Holt aboard. I, I don't get that either. I would also suggest this, as much as I think Kike Hernandez is a really, really good major league player who's going to be coveted in a lot of places. He's a finishing touch. He's a guy that you sign when you are ready to win, and he's the last guy that pushes you over the top. That's not the Red Sox right now. They, they, need, they need more than just a utility guy that's going to play all over the field and be able to do many things for them. Let's go get that pitching thing fixed. I mean, we're not talking about one pitcher either. We're talking about multiple bullpen guys. They're two or three starters away from being legitimate in that capacity. I think this is a, a badly wasted time exercise if they're going to chase down Kike Hernandez. <laughs> You're talking Sorry. about needing multiple arms. And I go right to the Chicago Cubs. Who's going to eat all the innings for them? Because the Cubs are next. And Bob Nightingale of USA Today saying Jed Hoyer says that teams are certainly calling about Wilson Contreras, but denies they're shopping him. They already traded away their other catcher. Your reaction to this, Matt? Well, I mean, look, if, um, if this rebuild, and, and it's hard to call it anything other than that at this point, if this is going to continue going in the same direction that they've started, with uh, shedding a lot of contractual weight, then I don't know, maybe Contreras is a part of the rebuild. You could also make the case that he's part of the permanent solution too, because if they're gonna pick and choose guys that they're gonna make long-term commitments toward, they've already moved the Darvish contract. They've parted company with Kyle Schwarber, which I never thought would happen. So maybe Baez and Contreras are the guys that stick around. And Bryant, I mean, Rizzo's got the long-term deal. Uh, there's an expiration date on that one coming, I think, in two years. Costas can fill us in on that. By the way, we have not mentioned that Keith Costas is back from his annual sabbatical in uh, the Midwest. 
Um, I, I, I would get it. If they're shopping Wilson Contreras, I would get it. I would also understand that Jed Hoyer's not going to say we're shopping Wilson Contreras. You don't, you don't want to hack off one of your more important players by, uh, by putting that out there publicly. I don't get it. Who's pitching for them and who's catching for them? Harold. Okay. Well, Matt, I, I think it's interesting uh, when you said the part about Contreras not hacking him off because he's not afraid to mix his words up and say what he wants to say. So, yeah, you don't want to let him start thinking uh, you might be shopping him. But I do think there's a lot of clubs that are going to covet having a catcher like that that can be a stable force behind the plate. And so, yeah, he's going to draw a lot of interest. But uh, I think the Cubs are rebuilding. They may not say they are. They are. And if they're not, um, then I think Theo might still be around. But I think they've got a lot of work to do. And this is Jed's beginning of his reign. And he's got a five-year contract. And I think they got to start turning this thing over. Because the last couple of years have not been very impressive. I leave you with this interesting soundbite. Maybe we're reading into this. But on a Japanese radio talk show, Masahiro Tanaka was asked about the possibility of pitching in Japan in 2021. He said the possibility of returning to Japan is not zero. Maybe we're reading into it. Maybe we're not. Harold, your thoughts? I would love to see him go back, and I can see him do that. He's accomplished everything he needs to do here. Uh, and and he, he could clearly go back. I think when you look at when Ichiro went back to Japan and the reception he got when the Mariners went there, I, I just think it would be a, a huge honor. And at the end of the day, he's not going to be living in the U.S. when he retires. He's going to be living back home in Japan. I think this is a, a great gesture, and I think it could possibly happen. Six-time All-Star I over think seven that, seasons. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a guy just trying to keep all of his options open for the purposes, perhaps, of making a market for himself, too. I mean, you, the worst place to be as a free agent in life is with only one lane. You have to keep multiple off-ramps open for you. And if he can put in somebody's mind that, hey, man, maybe I'll go back to Japan. It's the same way a kid coming out of college would say, uh, or a kid coming out of high school, who was drafted by a team and doesn't have the right signing bonus number that he likes, he'd say, ah, you know, maybe I'll go to college. Is it worth another hundred grand for you to keep me out of college? I mean, I think there's a little bit of that too. It's just negotiations. Like, you know, when my deal at MLB Network is up, I'm gonna try to sell that uh, I'm gonna go to ABC <laughs> News and replace David Muir. So maybe I'll do that. No, you, okay. so come on. You could just go in your basement and make those ships in a bottle. <laughs> That'll get them to sign you real quick. <laughs>